Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the best way of centering a block of text in a column. In fact, not just a block of text, but any module, and also not just necessarily in a column, but also we'll be looking at how you can center content in the middle of a section. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with a new blank page, and the first thing we're going to do is to enable the Visual Builder. Once that opens up, we're going to choose the Build from Scratch option, and we're going to click on Start Building. Before anything else, I'm going to go into the settings for the section, into Background, and I'm going to add a light grey background colour so that we can see the rows more clearly. I'm then going to add a row, which is going to have two columns, and I'm going to go into the settings for that row to Background. I'm going to add a white background to the row. The first module I'm going to add is an image module, and I'm going to put that in the left-hand column. In the right-hand column, I'm going to add a text module, and I'm going to just paste in a bit of lorem ipsum. The next step is I want to take this spacing out of the top and bottom of the row, so I'm going to go into the row, settings, design, spacing, and I'm going to set the top and bottom padding to zero. Now that we've done that, we can start styling this text. I think it would look better a bit larger, so I'm going to go into the text settings, the design tab, click on text. I'm going to scroll down to the text size, and I'm going to enable responsive option so that we can set a size for each of the three desktop, tablet, and phone options. So with the desktop selected, I'm going to increase this font size to 20 and I'm going to change the line height to 1.5m. Next I'm going to click on the tablet and I think we need to see that looking a little bit smaller so I'm going to go with 16 and that's fine with the 1.5m. Again by using m's as your measurements it's going to base the line height on the size of the font so when we decrease the size of the font it's going to decrease the spacing as well so that it all just works. I'm then going to click on the phone tab and that is still way too big so I think we'll reduce this down to 13 points. If I could type 13 to 13 points and that's looking good. We also need to do something about the horizontal spacing of this text. So I'm going to go back into design again, into spacing, and I'm going to add 5% to the left and right padding. Again, I'm going to enable responsive mode on this, and I'm going to check that that looks right, which it does on both the mobile and tablet settings. OK, so now that we've dealt with that, we can work out how we're going to get this centred into the middle of this column. There's three steps involved in doing that. So the first one, we need to click on the settings for the row, click on the design tab, click on sizing, and choose equalise column heights. Nothing will happen. Next thing we need to do is go into the row again, but this time choose the second column, which is the column with the text in, click on the advanced tab, custom CSS, and you need to add one line of CSS, which is display flex. And again, nothing will happen. So finally, you need to go into the text settings, choose design and choose spacing, and you need to type auto into the top margin and auto into the bottom margin, and you'll see we've achieved our desired result and we have centered this text within the column. Worth now having a look at what's happened on the responsive options and you can see because the columns are no longer sitting next to each other there isn't really a center for this to align itself up to so we do have an issue where the spacing at the bottom of this is rather tight. So in order to fix that for the text module I'm going back into design and spacing and where we added the 5% left and right for the, not for the desktop option, but just for the tablet option, I'm going to add 5% to the bottom, and that will be carried through also to the mobile option. So we've now got three different options. We have the 
desktop version with the text perfectly centered. We have a tablet version and we have a mobile version, all looking good. So now we've done that, I'm going to go on and have a look at what happens if you've got more than one element that you want to align in this column. Before we do that, now that I've set up this text, I'm actually going to go into the settings again and I'm going to go to the preset function. If you haven't used presets, definitely something to look at and something I will be doing a video on soon. And you want to go to create new preset from current styles. And I'm going to give this a name of center lesson and I'm going to save it. This means that when we come into our next example, I can apply that to my uh, text and it will automatically set up all the options for me. For the second example, we're going to look at how to center multiple modules in one column. So in order to do that, I'm going to add a headline in here. So in other words, a text module, and I'm going to type in Vespa scooters, and I'm going to make that an H2. I'm then going to add another text module underneath. And into that module, I'm going to paste the Laura Mipson text that we used earlier, and I'm going to apply the styling that applied to it called center text, which you remember we applied in the last example. Thirdly, I'm going to include a button at the bottom of this column, and I already have defined the default styles for a button. So now we need to go through the same settings with a few minor tweaks to get this centered. First thing we're going to do, which is the same as before, is we're going to go into the design and sizing and we're going to choose equalize column heights. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings for the second column. We're going to click on the advanced tab. We're going to go into custom CSS and just like before, we're going to type display flex. But that's not quite what we wanted to see. The reason for that is by typing display flexed, we have enabled this column to be a flexbox container. By default, when you do that and you put items into that column, it will arrange the items from left to right. In other words, it will fill as a row. And so it's taken my headline, it's taken my copy, and it's taken my button, and it's aligned them horizontally across the column. In order to fix that, which is very simple, we're going to set the flex direction and we're going to tell it that we would like it to line items as a column. Okay, when we've done that we can start setting our margins and what we need to do is above the top item that we want to center we need to set our spacing just as before to auto. Then we need to look at the gap between the headline and the copy and for the bottom margin I always like to set uh, margins underneath text I'm going to choose the distance I want between these two items and in this case I'm going to go with 25 pixels we're then going to go to the text module design spacing the top margin I'm going to set to zero because we've already established the margin with the block of text above and then the bottom margin I'm also going to set to 25 pixels which is going to set the spacing between my text and the button. Finally in order to get this centered as before I need to go into the bottom module which is the button I need to go into spacing and I need to set auto on the bottom setting. So that can be a bit confusing so I'll just run over it again We've basically set an automatic margin above the top item in the column and an automatic margin below the bottom item in the column. And in between those items, we've set the spacing on the text on the headline box in this case and on the copy box in that case. And this is what we end up with. If we have a look at this now responsively, so let's have a look at the tablet version, you'll see that we do need to make one or two minor changes to get this to work properly. So if we go into the first text box, which is the headline, into design tab, into spacing, and make sure that we choose the responsive option so that we're adjusting the tablet only, 
I'm going to add a left and a right hand margin of 5%, which will sort out my headline. I'm then going to go into the button and again, the design tab, spacing. Again, make sure that I choose the responsive option. And for the tablet, I'm going to set a 5% left margin and I'm going to set the bottom margin to also be 5%. If we go to the mobile view, we find that it actually inherits the values from the tablet view so that everything just works. We may want to have a look at the text size of the uh, button on the mobile version because it's looking a little bit large. So if we go into the settings, into design, into text, no, not into text, into button. And again, we choose the responsive option here on the mobile size and we reduce this button down to say 14 points. That looks much better, so let's save that. Okay, so we've now got a responsive section with a row with our centered three items, and it works in both mobile, tablet, and desktop view. I hope you found this lesson valuable so far. Before we go on to have a look at how we can center items in a section, I'd really appreciate a like and maybe you'd even like to follow me. This helps drive the YouTube algorithm and show my tutorials to some more people. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look at sections. In this example, we're gonna look at how to center a row in the middle of a section. So just to make a really simple example, we'll go with a big headline sitting in the middle of a colored background. So we'll go into the section settings, we'll go into the design tab and sizing, and we will set the size of our section to 300 pixels. We'll then go into content, background, and we'll set a background color of black. We'll then add a row and a text module, and we'll choose a small block of text We'll make that into an H2 or even bigger. We'll make that into an H1. We'll go into the design tab, the heading text H1. And we'll set the color to be white and we'll center align that text. OK, now it's not vertically centered yet. So same steps as before. But this time we go into the section settings. We go to the advanced tab. We go to custom CSS and we type our display flex and that will immediately set the item into the center of the column. Now just in case we want to add any more items to this later on it's just as well to also set the flex direction to vertical otherwise if we add a button say underneath it will push that over to the side rather than set it in the center. So to do that remember we go with flex direction and we set that to column. So if now we now do, for example, want to add, say, a button, we can go on to here, we can click on plus, we can add button. And for our button settings, all we need to do from the design tab is align the button to the center, but it's still perfectly vertically aligned in the section. Well, I hope you found this lesson useful. If you've got any further questions, please do leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see a tutorial on anything specific, please also leave me a comment below. Thank you.